This is a do-it-yourself, remote-controlled, magnetic levitating train project, or maglev. So maglevs are like conventional trains, except instead of wheels, they use magnets. So the train levitates by the repulsion of permanent magnets on the track and permanent magnets on the train. The remote controls the linear motor system, which consists of six electromagnets on the bottom of the train. These electromagnets change polarity and strength to push and pull against the magnets that are in the middle of the track. These magnets are alternating polarity and have a Hallbach array behind them to concentrate the magnetic field in the center of the track. The way the linear propulsion system works is that when an electromagnet is in between two magnets, it's going to repel one magnet and attract another, moving the train down the track. When an electromagnet is adjacent to a magnet, it's going to be turned off, so it'll glide over the magnet. The LEDs on the top of the train are, will show you what the polarity is on either side of each of the electromagnets at any point in time. The polarity and the strength of the electromagnets are controlled automatically using three Hall effect sensors. Hall effect sensors measure the strength and polarity of a magnetic field. Each Hall effect sensor is wired to a pair of electromagnets. The way we have it arranged is that we have the Hall effect sensor a uh, place where there's going to be a, a, where it's going to read the magnetic field that we want the electromagnet to be. So, for example, when an electromagnet is adjacent to a magnet, we want it to be turned off. So the Hall effect sensor for that electromagnet is going to be in between two magnets where it's going to read basically no field. We have the three, elect three Hall effect sensors spaced out, so at any point of time, one of them is going to be giving a significant power to its electromagnets. So we can put the, track, the train down anywhere and it will be able to get started. The train has an Arduino Uno board, two SparkFun motor driver shields, a wireless shield, and an XD radio to communicate wirelessly with the remote. The remote also has an Arduino Uno board, a wireless shield, an XD radio, and an encoder which serves as a sort of gas pedal. The train counts how many magnets it's passed and uses that information to initiate electromagnetic braking so it doesn't crash into the end. A solenoid is made by running an electric current through a copper coil and you can reverse the polarity. By attaching it to a vehicle, like repels like and attracts to opposite, but stops when it's over it. By attaching a second solenoid, we can have continuous motion over an extended track. By changing the timing, we can run the car backwards. We discovered that having just two with one track was not enough, so we added a third solenoid run horizontally along a second track and we had a lot more power.